Welcome, this is Dr. Virinda Suri. Welcome to AyurvedicScience.com. Depression is a very common disease, the fourth most common disease worldwide. 19 million Americans suffer with depression. Five to 10% women in their lifetime goes through major depressive disorder. And two to 5% men goes through major depressive disorder in their lifetime. And mild to moderate depression, nobody knows how many people. I think almost everybody in their lifetime has mild to moderate depression. There is a very interesting article published in JAMA issue of January 2010. The wording of that article is interesting how it has been worded. You know, this is the actually very uh, creative writing, which I call. Uh, they had shown, written in that article, that uh, the major depressive disorder may be SSRIs, the drugs like Prozac, Paxil, Lexipro. Uh, there is, a, I think there are a few more which I'm, I'm forgetting right now, uh, has been used in, in the, the major mild to moderate depression. But it has shown that the even in major depressive disorder, there is a limited effect of these drugs and virtually no effect in mild to moderate part, type of uh, depression. And FDA has asked to put a warning on these drugs for teenagers and young adults who are given for major depressive disorder SSRIs because one of the major side effects is they get suicidal tendencies. Because what's going on, the SSRIs actually in increase the serotonin in their blood and when there is no ser serotonin to kick in they feel a big hole in them and that actually tends them to go for suicide uh, in in elderly patient the medication has not been very effective either uh, it is the major cause of uh, uh, the bleeding disorder uh, is uh, caused by SSRIs in the elderly patient so you can see that the SSRIs has not been very effective in a, even the younger or in older patient and you know you can see a lot of side effects which you'll see in our website uh, and one of the very common side effect which i see in male and female is a low libido i everybody come to me is a doctor sorry after i start taking this medication i have no sex desire left and actually i've done tests on these patients their testosterone levels are like a below 70 80 in this male and female, in the males especially, in the females they fall down below 10, 20, uh, which is you know very very low side. In the male you need around more than 600, 800, you know, to be in, in the normal ranges, and they just fall to 70. And uh, uh, phenomenally, uh, these people just says, my God, my sex drive is all gone when they start taking this medication. There was interesting article published in Psychosomatic uh, Medicine in 2007, which showed that the exercise is as good tool for major depressive disorder as the medication so again i think we have better tools in alternative medicine you know one thing meditation yoga breathing exercise exercise and ayurvedic herbs ashwagandha bakopa uh, makuna prurens and uh, centella asiatica these are all have remarkable improvement in the uh, mild to moderate to major depressive disorders and uh, if you uh, you need to actually take in charge you know you want to be healthy you can't just depend on the drug to make you better and again if you only depending on drug the results are very limited as you see from this study and uh, you're not going much further you have to take a charge you have to do your exercise you have to make your thought process right, right with the doing breathing exercise yoga and uh, taking part in the normal societal things you know go out and go for hiking spend time with your friends your family eat healthy food uh, all those makes a big difference this is dr virinda sodi thank you